back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing another video today all about personal statement and just giving you guys tips um about what to include in your personal statement and just some tips just to make sure your personal statement is suitable for medical school and i feel like the tips i'm giving in this video might actually be useful for other personal statements too not necessarily just medical school if you do like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and if you know anyone doing their personal statement for medical school currently please share this video with them so hopefully they'll be able to get some tips too so i'll go straight into the video so my first tip is starting early and this is very helpful because you're able to draft your personal statement and actually make corrections early and be able to read it and actually send it to other people to read too. For example, I know in the UK the deadline is usually in October and this is early compared to other courses so this will be very you know helpful if you actually start early. so when you start early you could actually give your personal statement to maybe a teacher your parents or people that you know maybe that's currently in the field already to read your personal statement you could actually give personal statement to actual students as well that maybe previously gone through the course or currently in the course but when you do it early you have the opportunity to obviously look at your grammar and ensure that your personal statement actually flows and that's very important it's very important that your introduction flows with the part where you talk about your work experience and that flows with maybe your academic um, or even parts where you talk about extracurriculum and then your conclusion you want a nice flow the next tip I'll give is be yourself I mean it's called a personal statement so be yourself I feel like being yourself you'll be able to make your personal statement more unique and more personal to yourself I feel this will allow you to bring more of your personality in your personal statement so it'll make it more engaging as well and in this make sure you include key things so things that you've done that's quite unique things that stands out whether it's um, work experience you've done if it's a job if it's extracurriculum if it's a talent you have if you're interested in like a sport art instrument it doesn't even have to be necessarily scientific based it could be something you just do outside of your academics as well i feel like this would bring some form of like unique um, touch to your personal statement and this is kind of the things that they're actually looking for too. The key thing about this is it would actually show them that you're like an all-rounded person, that you have different skills. You're not just solely focused on the science side of it, you have other things and attributes to you too that will make you more suitable candidate to be a medical student. So this is a tip that I think that would be very you know useful and helpful and not even just in medical school, just in other um, courses as well so definitely take that on board next I'll say is I think it's very important to leave an interesting conclusion a conclusion that would actually stand out if the reader feel like hmm, you feel like this person is suitable just kind of like a good way of actually summarizing the whole entire personal statement so I feel like spend time focusing on your conclusion as well as your introduction so I feel like those two parts as well do make up your personal statement you want it to start off right and you know finish off right too also I feel like um, within that part as well, make sure your main body actually does explain why you want to do medicine and why you're a suitable candidate to do medicine too. I feel like um, even though it feels like the amount of characters or the words they've given you to write your personal statement is very short, make sure you actually justify those points within the personal statement. They want to know that, like why you want to do it and why you think you're suitable. And this is a moment for you to actually shine, the moment for you to actually add all of those um, information within your personal statement. Another tip that I feel is very crucial is when you're talking about your work experience, don't just give a list of the type of work experience that you've done. So don't just say like, I've worked in the hospital, I've worked in the GP, I've shadowed this and I've shadowed that. That's not just the important part. You need to expand on what skills you've learned and what transferable skills you feel like you'd be able to bring to medicine. For example, maybe you've learned how to communicate with people or how to work in a team or um, you've learned leadership skills. Make sure you expand on that. Those are the little things that make you different from other candidates. So you should actually not just state all that you've done. You can do 
500 work experience but if you don't actually state the skills that you um you've learned from me i don't feel like that's very useful so make sure you state it and you actually expand on it i feel the combination of this will help improve your application form the last tip that i would give is make sure you double check your personal statement before you send it make sure you've reviewed it properly and make sure it's not rushed make sure you take your time and make sure you give it time so before you actually submit it it might be wise to leave it for like a day or two and come back to it and read it because sometimes you just need a fresh eye just to look at it again just so you'll be able to spot if there's any little mistakes you don't want to have little mistakes that they can pick on like grammatic errors that's not actually what you want you want to make sure you stand out and bear in mind that they are reading hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of applications so you don't want to like allow any little thing to affect your application so i feel like that's the last tip that i'll give and yeah i think that, that those tips i feel like they're very useful if you do want me to read your personal statement by any chance i'll put my email in the description box below if you send me an email and i will gladly review your personal statement and give it back to you hopefully within due time and that's it really so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and yeah good luck um if you're currently you know writing your personal statement or you're about to i hope these tips are actually useful for you and yeah so i'll see you guys next time in my next video and bye guys